hello and welcome to the channel thank you for tuning in thank you for subscribing if you haven't done so please consider it's all free and you'll be part of the fun and hit the bell so you won't miss another episode right this morning the forecast looked absolutely horrible snow rain whatever but now have a look at this there are some clouds there but some sunshine yeah and it's coming from this direction so it's cold yeah it's about one or two degrees but we're out fishing yeah we're here at methyl by the old power station which was here yeah and yeah so i thought i'm going to come out fishing it was planned anyway but this morning i said ah, nah. so i went to duck some ragworms have a look at these ones yeah there's some nice rug ones here and I have some more in the bucket here. Look at these ones. There are some monsters in there. Some snakes. Yeah, so I wanted to originally I wanted to, to freeze them. But said no, let's go fishing and use some. So yeah, I already cast it out. I got a two hook putter, lost a boom rig on, short snoot, and top hook with the size 10 Aberdeen or is it 2 -0? can't remember sorry uh, we have mackerel tip with squid or it's like a squiddy, squiddy tail on it and the bottom hook some fresh ragworm so it's about three hours to high tide so we're going to fish it up three and maybe one or two hours down and see what happens Mainly I'm, I'm after flounder, whiting, small stuff. Because the fishing has been really poor recently. I believe down south as well, apart from uh, whiting and maybe the, the odd codling. I've, I've seen a nice video, some a few bass coming out. Winter bass. That was nice to see. So, yeah, we're going to give it a go. We have south, west, south, westerly wind changing to northerly direction. So it's going to be frost tonight. Never mind, but look at the view. Huh? That's what I'm coming here for. Just the view, relaxation. Huh? That's what I like to show you. That part of the fishing. Yeah, if you do get a fish, for me it's a bonus because fishing has been her terrible even all the way up the coast I mean yeah the further further east you go from here yeah you might be getting small codlings but apart from that not much happening so yeah I hope you enjoy this little session I definitely will enjoy it unfortunately my buddy Chris couldn't make it but nevertheless we're here now and we do our best and as always having fun yes stay tuned yeah just done a bait check uh nothing's touched so we can see here the mackerel with a little flippy floppy uh squid tail and and we have some ragworm on the bottom so not big hole not big baits uh four ounce rolling lead so I'm just going to cast to like 180 degrees and, and see if I can find some fish. But okay, let's see. Let's make it happen, huh? Let's make it happen. Okay, let's can see me watch me casting, huh? There you go. Uh, you have to. Uh, you don't have to cast far. Just a little. Out. Let's see if we can find some fishies. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a nice sunset, maybe. Maybe, oh, yeah, forecast totally turned 180 degrees. So, 
anyway we enjoy it stay tuned yeah I just put a cup of coffee and see maybe it's bringing the fish on <laughs> uh, no bites uh, I reckon nothing's gonna happen till it gets dark especially by the whiting the water is reasonably clear so nothing's gonna happen really until it gets dark just hoping for some flounders which are also absent at the moment or maybe a nice dab that would be nice there's a nice big one came out at uh, Kinghorn and uh, yeah but that was the only fish so don't know what's going on well, it's not the lack of food because I mean where I'm digging ragworm it's just full of ragworm so there's no lack of food so unless the trawlers intercepting the fish when they come into the further forth possibly so but they do netting down south and then as soon as the netting nets are gone the fish are back so I don't know no explanation for that but we enjoy the session wherever look at that oh sure beautiful sunshine not forecast snow and rain was forecasted so okay we carry on with the fishing and then uh, I'll keep you updated or anything else I have to say I will say it I just enjoy the view look at that we got a mountains over there bus bus rock over there yeah beautiful beautiful part of the coast and mr c and mr seal turned up posing <laughs> let's see right where i'm casted or oh, near enough <laughs> as you can see it's gonna get dark sunset no bites not a nibble but beautiful evening there's two girls girl is turned up with a spinning rod let's see if they can get you let's have a look if you can see the sunset no it's not much to see behind the clouds and behind the buildings so, oh well, they're spinning away yeah I could change the baits nothing let's see if the white is coming in so, yeah if you're here and it's wet be careful because it's very slippery or well, it can be <laughs> yeah, still, still, still. Never mind. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, folks. I'm gonna pack up in a minute. Not a bite. I caught one little shore crab. <laughs> Never mind. I had a brilliant time. It was cold, very cold. I think it's about freezing now. Or oh. anyway, doesn't matter. You enjoy yourself. That's that's the main thing. Just to be here by the water, breathing in the fresh sea air. That's what what really count. Fish and boat is will be a bonus at the moment. It's so quiet. I mean, there's a theory about the seals. That they're eating the, the the small the small fish, like the small flounders and things, and uh, so that's a theory. So I don't know. No whiting. No cold fish. No bass. No codling. Nothing. <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, my, I'm not going to end the video here because I will show you how I preserve my ragworms 
I've seen it on another channel, I can't remember which one it was. And it seems to work for ragworms to salt them and then freeze them. So, yeah, I will show you that as well. So, stay tuned and out for now, but it will be a follow on with the ragworms. Okay, stay tuned. No, nothing quite as anything. Well, you got another crab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Right, I'm back home where it's warm. <laughs> right, now I'm gonna have some ragworms left over. Some big snakes in there. And I got some in here as well. So, what I did is I took half a liter of water and I put 125 grams of salt in there and I just sort of stir it up it's about ratio one and four to one and it's really it's basically it's all dissolved and it gives us a very, very high salinity. And unfortunately, the worms don't like it. And it will kill them. So, okay, that should be, should be alright. Right, let's take some worm. Take a big one here. Look at that snake. Let's put it in here. Right, and I'm going to do that with the rest of them. Yeah, they don't like this at all. Right, I will do that with the rest. So hold on. Right, they're all in here. So what we do now is... Roll it up. And then we put, leave it in the fridge for 24 hours. And then... And then tomorrow I'm going to be back and then I'll show you the rest. Alright, stay tuned till tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I found the gaper clam as well. Forgot about it. So I'm going to probably put it in there as well. Right. Okay, till tomorrow. Hello and welcome back. Right, so the worm's been soaking in that high salinity water now for 24 hours give or take and now we're ready to process them right so here we have the bag excuse me the mess I've just been doing some wine wine making and lots of stuff uh, right. Right, let me just uh, undo this bag right here we go Especially one. So one of the funny boxes from from little where they have. So now we can have a look inside. So what you're going to do is I'm just going to strain all of it, and then There we go. We're well, in good shape at the moment. Right. So all I do is now I'm gonna pat them dry, as uh, dry as possible. And if it's a little bit too long, just we'll Really, some big snakes here. Yeah. I shall show you with a, a couple. There you go. Yeah, I'll take some more. Come on. Just put them dry. There you go. 
know. I mean, with with the normally if you if they have a thin tail, they usually turn mushy again. But then you always can use a bait made or whatever, and or or fill or stuff a squid with it. So what I like to do with the newspaper, I I I like to like double them up. So it so it absorbs as much moisture as possible. That's probably this, it's one of the successes to, to keep them as dry as possible. So, so that, that's the only one. So just fold them over. Make sure they don't touch each other. And the next time when I use them, when I go fishing, then uh, I will mention them again. And uh, there we go. I mean, they, they do work because I used them before. And cuddling love them and flounders and they do like them. So, okay, okay, you get the general idea, and then you just pop them into the freezer, and then just use them as normal, normal worms, and they do catch. And uh, so, yeah, I just instead of wasting the bait, chucking it away or let them rot in the in the fridge. That's one way of preserving them until you can use them time and time again. Uh, yeah, so I hope you found it useful. So I'm not taking any credit for it because I saw it on another channel. It's not my idea. I just implement the idea that I watch and I just pass on that idea. I can't remember which channel it was. But there are some more ideas floating around with alcohol and things. So I tried that as well with alcohol. Yeah, it kind of works, but then you, it's quite expensive to buy 90% uh, alcohol or spirit alcohol or whatever. So this one sold a few pence. So, okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and we see you later. Bye-bye.